everyone. How are we doing tonight? I'm going to be playing some Fire and Ice for the NES here shortly. Yeah, I've never played this game before. It's a um, sequel to Solomon's Key. Uh, in North America, it was called Fire and Ice. Everywhere else, it's called Solomon's Key 2, I believe. It came out in 1993 in the United States, so fairly late in the NES life cycle. Get a little story here at the beginning. Oh, okay, so you can continue. Uh, edit mode, I'm guessing, is like a level builder or something. And then beginning. So we'll start from the beginning. Okay, so there's a bunch of worlds to choose from. Should probably start at the first one. So it looks like I just have one ability. It's this magic wand. Oh, look at that. Okay. So I can't jump or anything. I can push these items. Okay, so the, it looks like the idea right now is to clear the fires out. So it looks like World 1 has nine stages in it, so we'll keep going. Huh. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm holding it up. This is like a puzzle platformer type game. That's pretty cool. I like it. I did play Solomon's Key as a kid, and this is somewhat familiar in that regard. I think it's a little bit different, but very similar. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, I really like the animation they have on the character, too. Here, what do I do? Ah. So, looks like I can... So I can pick up the ice and put it down. Like right here, I'll pick that one up. Hmm. Oh no. Uh-oh, looks like I've failed. What should I have done differently there? Um... <laughs> Alright. Try again. Okay, let's think about this now. I just had to take the right one out. <laughs> Very cool. Hmm, I got messed up. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have gone down yet. 
<laughs> Alright, let's try again. Okay, we cleared that one. If I take that one out and I push that down. This is a trickier puzzle. Let's see here. Okay. Maybe this is it. Let's see. Okay. this up. I'm going to send myself down with another one. And I'm going to make my own little thing again here. I think I got in the same situation again. Hmm. Hmm. What am I missing? Ah, let's think about this for a little bit. I'm sure we can figure it out. Oh, 
I'm not even sure if I need to do with what I'm doing here. Let's see here. Let's try this. is better. So a little bit more about this game. Um, let's see here. It was developed by Tecmo and published by them as well. Um, the aim of the game involves players extinguishing all fires in level in a level in order to proceed. They do this by creating or melting ice with it and or kicking ice into the fire. The game also has a level editor may expose some bugs that substantially affect the game mechanic, but only the Japanese ver version permits saving the levels one creates. Yeah, the Japanese always have the really cool features. With Same with like Excite Bike, you could save um, save in Excite Bike. Okay, this one is pretty easy. There we go. Oh boy, this one, there's gonna be a trick here, isn't there? The chain reactions you can do. That's kind of a neat thing. There we go. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Do 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 do. There we go. Oh, wait. One more. Wait, am I going to be able to do this? No, I'm questioning it. Yeah, we can do this. I might be doing this a little bit more difficult than I need to, but we'll get it. I really like this character. Like the animation and stuff on it. Awesome. There we go. Alright. I think we got through stage one. World one. Oh, I see. Now we go into the final stage. Oh boy. What is this? Hmm. Can you get out of my labyrinth? Who's that guy? Uh, uh, oh gosh. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit of stress here. Did we do it? <laughs> we did it. 
don't dare think you have me beaten. Beaten me. Ice Rock Island Clear. Alright. This is a fun game. We will continue story. It's a really simple game. You have like one button and you move. So, I mean, it's just like easy to play, which is nice. Hmm. I do this, that guy will go away. I do want to get up. Do that. And then... Get rid of that. No, we'll get rid of that. Oh no. I messed up. There we go. Now we're good. I didn't need all those extra blocks before, I guess. Here we go. Send that over there. Okay, let's see here. Some of this seems too easy, but I think that's kind of this weird thing that they're doing with this game. One, two, do this, send that over there. And I can climb up. There we go. Pretty good. Okay, I want to do that. Then we'll go over this side. Get that guy. Let me see if I'm missing anything here. So we'll go that way, and then we'll take that out. <gasps> no, I shouldn't have come down. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Get you. Get you. Take that. Put this over there. Knock that out. So I want to do another block down there. Oh. Okay. Yes, that's what I want to do. And then take that. There we go. All right. Kick that over there. Oh no, I think I screwed myself. Yeah, I did. Okay. I 
can see this being a good speedrun game too. Let's see here. Yeah, I messed up. I need to clear that path back up there. This way. This way. Actually, if I can put this in there, save myself a trip. Go back this way. Go up here. There we go. Okay. the trick here. Do I want to get rid of that? Yes, I do. That there. Push that down. Don't think I want that there. There we go. Going pretty well so far. Um, hmm. I go over here, do that, that drops down. I need to take care of this guy though. Okay, I think I want to go over here. No. I need to go like this, that, climb up, um, I messed up, okay. That and that, remove that, kick that. Oh, I need to do it after I go past. Climb up. Remove. There we go. No. 
Okay, good. <laughs> Thought I messed up. There we go. This one's gonna be like deceptively hard, I think. Okay, so that's down there. myself an escape plan there, I think. Yeah, so I can climb up here, go down here. There we go. There we go. That was a tricky one. Took me a minute and a half. We're on to the next end castle. Well, I'm gonna say it right now. I'm a big fan of this game. This is really good. Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> I pause. There we go. That was easier than the stage before it. <laughs> We haven't really talked about that yet. Um, this is from the instruction booklet, apparently. Rescue of Cool Mint Island. This is a story from long ago when the powerful wizard Dana was just a beginner. In the sea to the far north, there was a small island made of ice. The island was called Cool Mint Island. On this beautiful little island of ice, there was many winter fairies all living in peace. But one day, the wicked wizard Drudel appeared and let loose flames on Coolman Island. The flames scattered all over the island and little by little they began to melt the ice. The island was in terrible danger. The winter fairies determined to do something to save their island but they were not strong enough to face the flames by themselves. So it looks like Dana, the character you play as, was the one that was chosen to fight the... Uh, to defend the island. We're on to World 3. You know? Let's check it out. Alright, let's think here. Maybe I need to go up first. Up there. Drop that. There we go. So simple. So simple. Pretty clever one. Oh, this looks tricky. Hmm. Mm 
Hmm. Well, I think, you know, this is getting to be pretty late here, so I think this might be where I'll call this off, but my rough, real quick review of this game is that it's a lot of fun. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you're into puzzle type platformers. It's really well made. Um, looks great on the NES. The music is really good. The gameplay is good. Um, yeah, definitely check it out. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of what's going on here. So, yeah. Um, but until next time, uh, everyone just keep on gaming and we'll talk to you later.